So we're back. Virtual machines updates. Always launch the machine again. Reboot after an update of VirtualBox after an update of, in this case, VMware Workstation. What version are we on? This is the version, if you want to know. That's the build. Okay. Now we start up again. Now, <coughs> this is the button to full screen, so let's go there. Full screen for Ubuntu. Ubuntu, 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 Ubuntu. I always hear some, well, kind of song in there. <laughs> An African song. Nice animal. You research what that's supposed to be. And there are different installers, right? You can click this open. It's good to see if, if uh, something is like, uh, what's he doing? What's he doing? He's copying files and all that. What's he doing? Did I ask that? What did I choose? <laughs> Thank God, it's a virtual machine. <laughs> okay, almost finished copying files. Is it ZRAM or what is he doing? I don't know. He's doing something. Well, I'm gonna reboot the other computer here. And, um, yep. Okay. That's what I wanted to do here. This is me, right? From one computer to the other system. And here I need to update the Arch ISO version because there's a new Arch ISO available. It's actually installing eh, the other machine. Strange. Okay, we'll see. So. Arch ISO builders, we are at 58-2, not 1, but dash 2. Voila, save. And if you're thinking, Eric, the sound is so bad. I am three meters away from the mic, doing my work while the other machine is installing there. Didn't ask to install it, but probably did. Somehow. <laughs> Choices, right? Probably made the choice for an um, OEM installation or something like that. there I'm almost here as well so the Kali project I update the arch ISO version that we're now 58-2 and we're all good just built voila done I can shut down this computer system and install dusk on it what's dusk there is something called dusk we can install it on our clinics super easy one package you got a spin-off a dwm spin-off from beggars b come on running dp kg demon for packages or something like that these names are always quite 
interesting. Walking around in my room. Eric, the sound is terrible. What did you do? Let's update the much ISO version for ALCI as well. <coughs> That's another project. Oh, what if? I've got the knowledge of calamars, so why not put calamars on arch legs? And that's ELCI. Installing OpenVM tools. Hmm. Okay. And I hope we got get some action here. How about that? It's, it's all installed. I haven't chosen anything. I'll need to check what I've chosen. <laughs> oh, okay, quite nice. Very small screen. Let's make this bigger and bigger. Et voila. So, okay, this is Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Mm hmm. Voila, code. Got it. Some client. Got it. Spotify. Got it. Slack. Got it. PyCharm. Got it. Android Studio. Got it. Preview. I don't know why it's preview, but we got it. Got it all. Okay, next one. Bitwarden Simple Note. Warzone Brave Shut. Cut. Mail Spring Post. Foliate. Have no clue. What's foliate? Peru, help me. What's foliate? Okay, a simple modern GTK ebook reader. Got it. Pseudo Pacma minus S. Got it. I think we're done. So, done. Updated this year. Result now. Details. Ubuntu base. Details. Information. Release. Okay, six kilobytes, and then done. It was snaps that was being updated, it seems. Ubuntu software, the canonical supported guys, server from the United States. I can actually do a, I can actually select, that's cool. But I can also press select best servers. It's all linked, I have to wait. But I can press this thing. I can have a look here and settings. And then we can have a look at lock power logout. Series of tests. So this is our mirror or mirrors or Arclinux mirrors or arch mirrors or RAM. That's what we call it, right? It's, it's an easy thing to remember. RAM, RAM thing is uh, is going to check out the Arch Linux mirrors, gonna list them all in the file, the end mirror list, end mirror list, what's that? Let's wait for this to do its stuff. So he's pinging all things, testing at the speed, and now we're almost at the end. He's testing the speed. Whoa, a good speed there. Um, then we type something called n mirror list, which provides us the file that Pacman is going to use. This is a file. All the, all the blue things are not going to be used. That's the work it's done. But the one that won, the fastest guy, is Celian VDB French for me. And secondly, is Osbeck. So most of the time, Osbeck wins, but not today. So voila, I got our updates from there now. Let's see if I have updates, right? Because I probably changed server and servers are machines and machines are synced. Voila, there's an update. Yep, Electron from 15.1 to 15.2. Off we go. So he says that Belgium is the one. Okay. We'll choose the server from Belgium. Updates, of course, if I update again, reload, he's gonna get the server cache, the software cache, the database from Belnet. 
and if that one is synced more synced how do you say it's more up to date then new packages will come in but it says it's up to date fine thanks what's this this is a nice overview of software that's installed do like the gnome discs guys this is a great tip auto mounting stuff your external hard drive or something internal doesn't matter auto mounting is done so easily with tools like about the discs so gnome disk utility do we have it of course we have it of course we have it so good tool the settings we're gonna have a look system monitor live patch what's that live patch okay that's that uh gives you a little okay so that kind of feels like more a server kind of thing keeping up to date without rebooting rebooting is uh, costs money in servers if you have a shop anyway uh -huh. okay there is a well where is firefox in this list we can switch desktop okay but that it's not all the software there's more software so I'm missing software here because Firefox is installed. It's running, I think. Up there, down there. <laughs> uh huh. Other screen. Okay. No quarters, just halves. Okay. To the top. Hey. Ah, okay. Full screen. Okay. Having a look around, basically, right? Wanted to check the settings. I don't know why I don't see Firefox in this overview. But it's definitely installed. Am I missing the icon? I don't know. Okay. Close tabs. Let's have a look. So connection VPN not up to date. Bluetooth background. Oh, change the background. Whoops. Yep. And then appearance. Dark it is. How to hide the dock. Icon size. Oh, not a bad idea. Icon size a bit smaller maybe. On virtual machine that's not a good idea <laughs> then we can't get into the dock anymore show one position on screen left bottom okay notifications search file applications here are all the applications firefox is here we can say all kinds of things about all these guys Privacy is there. Location services, Thunderbolts, file, screen lock, diagnostics, online things, sharing, sound. Ah, there you are. Volume levels, input, output, park, drip, plus <laughs> sonar. Okay, alert sound, power saver, displays. may increase power usage lower speed reduce etc mouse and touchpad keyboard hate this keyboard <laughs> gonna run to you into issues so belgium other belgian ad this guy at the Top, that guy gone by customize shortcuts yeah control T it's working sudo apt upgrade 
nothing to upgrade removable media all that color virtual monitor region language accessibility larger text and so on users nice image we can add default apps we can change some things here date and time about ubuntu no i'm not gonna sing it again but it is in my mind mm. windows system wayland <laughs> right forget about installing this in virtual box but it is working on VMware. Voila, have a look around. You like Ubuntu, what you do, you install it, you enjoy it. All right, cheers.